So again, my name is Dr. Garrett Owen, and I am the Eastern Michigan Greenhouse Outreach Specialist stationed in Novi, Michigan, right outside of Detroit, and I'm in the Department of Horticulture at Michigan State University. So today in this three-part webinar series, I am going to be talking about the new monitoring website for in-house nutrient monitoring of greenhouse crops. So when we walk into a greenhouse, either a greenhouse grower or a extension specialist, the majority of the times we come into contact with um, nutrient disorders of greenhouse crops, either it being low or high pH or EC. So that's when we came up with the idea of launching a new monitoring um, nutritional website called FertDirtAndSquirt.com. So when you put this URL in and search, you'll land on this um, nutritional monitoring of floriculture crop page. So this is just a screenshot of the home page when you um, do search for this. So you must be thinking, well, um, what is all in this uh, website? But before I get to that point, you can um, search this website from the web. It's also available in tablet view. And as you can see, the photo on the right is a screenshot from my iPhone. So you can see that we have made it accessible for three different viewing pleasures of website, tablet, and phone. So what is available? So there will be, and currently now, instructional guides and videos for different monitoring methods and sampling procedures. We have crop-specific fact sheets that outline pH and EC values of these crops, optimal fertility rates, and also photos. We do have a searchable crop database that you will be able to search by a common scientific name. Um, it will provide the fertility, optimal fertility rate, recommended pH values, and then also EC values that are reported by pour through, SME, or one to two. And then of course, links of other interest. So which crops have we reported or will we report with these crop specific fact sheets? Well, if you saw the EGRO news um, email today, we had put out seven different um, crop specific uh, fact sheets being annual bedding plants, but we will also be listing perennials, florist or potted crops, and vegetable and herb plants as well. So if you saw the uh, screenshot of the website, it says floricultural crops, but really we're going to be focusing on greenhouse crops too. So when are these going to be released and uploaded? Well, they're going to be released and uploaded over time, with today being the first release of the seven nutritional um, crop specific fact sheets. So here's an example of the seven that we have uploaded and released today, being marigolds, geraniums, petunias, calabricoa, gerbera, dahlias produced from vegetative cuttings, and also New Guinean patients. So just to kind of have a general overview of what these nutritional monitoring fact sheets look like, looking at New Guinean patients, um, this is just the, the first part of that fact sheet, but you can see that we have the target nutritional parameters being the pH category and that pH range, the fertility category and the optimal or recommended um, fertility range, and then the EC categories and the three different EC ratings being one to two extraction method, the SME or saturated media extraction method, and the pour through values as well. So with that, I am going to link you over to um, see a virtual tour of FertDirtAndSquirt.com, and we would like to thank American Floral Endowment for the project sponsorship. So when you search FertDirtAndSquirt.com, you will be directed to the homepage, and again, this is the Nutritional Monitoring of Floriculture Crops, sponsored by the American Floral Endowment and in cooperation with egrow.org. So this, like I said, is the, uh, the landing page, but on the left-hand side, you will be directed to guides and videos, the crop fact sheets, the crop search, the links of interest, and, a, and a, um, a link about us that are contributors to this website. So let's just go ahead and look at the guides and videos. So when you select this link, it takes you to the guides and videos where you can see that we have listed the monitoring methods, either again being the pour through, the saturated media extraction method, 
or the one to two dilution. We have different sampling procedures. So if you want to sample plugs, liners, flats, pots, or hanging baskets, we have the procedures or will have the procedures uploaded um, within this section. If you want to test annual or perennial plants or how to test for leaf tissue to be analyzed uh, for nutrient content, we'll have procedures for doing that. Along with irrigation water, um, how to test your water at the end of the watering hose and then injector maintenance too. So since we're gonna be talking about pour throughs today, let's go ahead and select on pour through and see what we have listed available. So when you select on that link to the pour through, it gives us all the materials that we have uploaded being um, PDF guides or instructional material or even videos. So as you can see here, we had provided quite a bit of pour through materials. And for example, here's one on pour through for pansies or poinsettias, geraniums, perennials. So I, I encourage everyone to go ahead and take a look at the material that we do have uploaded at the current time. But um, please check back periodically as we will be uploading um, more instructional guides and videos throughout the year. We do have some, a, um, a couple of handouts from different lectures and then, of course, videos um, on how to conduct a pour through and using the Grow Zone um, tracker app that Dr. Brian Whipker is going to be talking about later on in this webinar. So let's go ahead and hop over to the crop fact sheets. And this is where we have the seven um, nutritional um, crop fact sheets that we have sent out or distributed today that can also be found on the eGrow website too. Um, this is where you will find all the annual, perennial, and the potted crops. So let's just take a look at the New Guinea patients just to see what all we have provided. So here is the New Guinea patients monitoring um, series. So as you can see here, just what I showed you previously, the nutritional parameters for New Guinea inpatients. We have provided photos of both um, high and low pH and also the same for EC. We provide um, information about the fertility management of New Guinea patients. And then at the end, we provide leaf tissue nutrient analysis. For example, here, um, New Guinea patients that were grown at a low substrate pH and then a reference um, tissue values for New Guinea inpatients here. Along with that, we have provided when in each nutritional fact sheet, corrective procedures for modifying the pH and EC of, and um, at low substrate pH corrections, we have provided um, high substrate pH corrections along with low and high EC corrections. So again, like I mentioned, these uh, corrective procedures are listed in each nutri nutritional fact sheet. And then we also provided the incorporating universities, the contributors to eGrow, and then our local and state greenhouse organizations. And one last time, I'd like to thank American Floral Endowment for their support and um, making this, um, this website and all this information available to greenhouse growers. So with that, I will turn it back over to Josh for any questions.